Well, Javier, this is a treat. You know, it's wonderful having you on our executive committee for Bowman International. We really are trying to build the international platform, um, be much more value to the international crowd. I know we've started a carbon discussion, some other things, but curious from your perspective, you know, the value of Bowman International for Bowman Mexico, EMA, how, what, what do you see from that? And from a Collier's perspective as well, the value of being involved with Bowman. Oh, thank you for the invitation. It's uh, very exciting to me. It's an honor to be part of the Hecate Committee, and I appreciate it very much. I, I believe that uh, really the, the, the value of the international associations is to understand what is happening in each country, to really believe and, and see how we can learn and educate other parts of the globe because of things are happening very similar but in a different time. So sometimes what is happening up here will happen later on. In the other hand, things that happen in Mexico or near the country will happen here later on as well. So it's a back and forward in, in ex exchange of information and, and, and learning experience. Some countries, the government is pushing a carbon agenda. Other countries, and I think Mexico is one of those, isn't. So it's the institutional investors, the owners, the people who are investing in properties that you manage as colliers that are doing that. So that's a very different landscape as well. Definitely it's quite different. And I think that uh, capital is sending a signal to, in order to give uh, money in a cheaper way, in a faster way to the corporations who are adapting the ESG policies, even though are not mandated yet for the government. Yeah. I, I foreseen that it will happen soon. But for the moment, is is capital and really the 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 trend that corporations are adopting it. So maybe we could talk about the Collier's portfolio that you you oversee in Mexico. What what properties do you have? What are some of the issues maybe you're dealing with in terms of the business in Mexico? Uh, let me start with the office uh, portfolio. I will say that the the vacancy rate is high. The sublets are uh, quite common by. Uh, corporation living some some uh, uh, square meters. So would you say comparable to the United States or in terms of the vacancy? The vacancy, rate? well, we have a, for example, Mexico City is quite high, 25% is probably okay, so, is, okay. is, is comparable. But the other cities like uh, Guadalajara, which is the second largest city in, in, in Mexico, is probably around 12%, so it's not so bad. Yeah. And But getting back in, in, in a good uh, shape, uh, again, faster than I watching here up here. In the other hand, we have uh, the industrial, which is uh, the contrary side of the coin, is almost right. zero vacancy rate. The nearshoring trend is really giving uh, an opportunity to, to the real estate market, to the investors, to the players. And a lot of that's in Mexico. Yeah, a lot yeah. of that is happening in Mexico, definitely, yes. Yeah. And retail is coming back. So it's different by market, by type of property, but quite uh, similar. So I, I have to go to building performance programs because you've been an advocate for Bowman International has the Bowman 360 program, which you've done. Uh, Bowman Canada has the Bowman Best program, and we're looking to bring them together in a partnership arrangement and move that all forward. But talk about the importance of using that in, in the marketing, what the value of those programs is to your portfolio. Well, I would say that those programs, they have two, two sides. The, the more obvious one is the certification itself in order to differentiate the property of the landlords or the owners of the portfolios which make it more competitive into the market because they accomplish some goals and they and somebody else is certificating that those goals are getting the benefit to the society to the property to the financials to the tenants so that's that's one but the other one is the education because everybody, everybody learns uh, uh, how to do it and, and, and how they can perform better, uh, including the talent, the, 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 the people. Right. You know? So that's, that's a, a real, real benefit to the market. So EMA always had a focus on technology, right? Uh, emerging technologies, high performance buildings and all the rest. So what's going on there? What's going on with EMA? And as you look at technology and the solutions, what excites you and what are the things that Colliers is bringing to the table? Well, uh, Colliers is getting the benefit of being part of the May, the BOMA, because <coughs> uh, we have the, the benefit to get uh, exposed to those trends that we learn through BOMA or EMA or any other uh, real estate association. 
the May Boma uh, uh, Shake Hand and, and Association is really uh, making a, a win-win situation because we have the technology, we have the service providers, we right. have the owners of the properties, we have the tenants in the other side and the uh, people who is manage the buildings. So we have a good uh, atmosphere there and uh, a whole combination of people getting uh, uh, much more and, and added value from BOMA uh, uh, platform. You mentioned onshoring a little bit ago. Um, when I don't think people maybe understand the Mexican economy that well. So, what country? What are the countries? Obviously, they know United States, Canada. We're we're North America. We've got our trade block. We all work together very closely. But I don't think people quite understand what other countries what feed into the Mexican economy. Who else do you work with from Asia and elsewhere as so, part of our international yes. platform? Yes. But I would say that definitely the, the, the free trade agreement between the three countries is, is, is real a competitive advantage as a region in, and in a global perspective. Because of the new shoring, the Asian uh, entities and companies are looking into Mexico as a way to get into the United States markets because they have the um, workforce, uh, the engineers, the um, um, less cost in some of the expenses yep. and the entry to the North America uh, uh, free trade agreement. So that's a win-win situation. So instead of having everything back there and, and knowing that uh, now it's not working, they have to have dual uh, of everything, Mexico is becoming a real, a real competitive advantage for Asian, European companies as well, uh, aut automotive, for example, yep. uh, aerospace, um, high-tech technologies. So all those uh, companies are very active and looking into Mexico uh, as, a, as a way to enter us to the free trade agreement with North, Amer North America. I mean, Collier's is one of the international companies for a long time. Yeah. Others have become more international and add the elements, but that was Collier's platform. That was a, the real competitive advantage, the differentiation and the entrepreneurial uh, culture that we have because we are very independent, very uh, fast forward in making decisions, but now having the benefit of being a part of a global entity. So it's a it's a win-win, it's a very nice combination. Well, it's a win-win for us too, and you're such a great part of our international platform, and, and there's a lot more work to do to build that. So we are looking forward to that in the coming years. More than happy to help. Thank you.